All right, so what's up, everybody? The Iceman here on the Iceman's Return YouTube channel. And yeah, uh, this Monday, uh, yesterday, I sat and watched a lot of wrestling. Man, did I watch some good wrestling. I watched Ring of Honor actually from Wednesday because I didn't actually see it Wednesday night. But yesterday, I watched No Mercy from the WWF from 1999. And let me tell you something. Guys, man. You go back and you watch some of this stuff, man. And it, it is like totally, totally awesome. We started off with the Godfather going up against Midian. We we had Viscera, you know, outside the ring and whatnot. And, uh, you know, actually it was... Um, it was a pretty good match. It was definitely a pretty good match. Um, what can I tell you about the opening match here on No Mercy 1999? But, you know, um, the Godfather ended up winning this match regardless of what went on. And then we saw we saw a women's match. Uh, championship match which was cool everybody remembers ivory uh ivory was pretty cool you know and i'll be honest with you i sort of forgot about ivory you know and it's only been you figure 16 years god it's been 16 years but anyway ivory had a match and uh <laughs> it was against the great moolah everybody knows the fabulous moolah and Guess what? Ivory was a champion, the women's champion at the time. And guess what? Who won the belt? Moolah. Unbelievable. Then we saw the New Age Outlaws going up against uh, Crash and Hardcore Holly. Um, this was a pretty good tag team match as well. Um, I sort of enjoyed watching this. Um, I love the New Age Outlaws. I thought they were really great back in the day and what they did. Uh, uh, you know, really, the Road Dog was, he was just awesome and whatnot. But in, in any event, there was a disqualification uh, to, to the point where there was a chair brought in the ring by Hardcore Holly. And the referee thought it was brought in by the New Age Outlaws. And they disqualified him. And Hardcore Holly and uh, <laughs> Crash ended up winning the match. So, anyway, cool. Then we had an Intercontinental Title Championship match. Jeff Jarrett going up against China. Jarrett, the champion. Awesome match, guys. It was called like a kitchen household type match where anything that was in the kitchen was involved in this match. And it got down to the point where, you know, China gave it a roll against Jeff Jarrett. But in the end, Jeff Jarrett used his belt to end up taking out China. But when it was all said and done, the referee came out and said, no, 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 no. That wasn't part of the stipulation. You can't use your belt. And eventually, China ended up hitting Jarrett over the head with his own guitar, with the referee not seeing it. China became the first women's intercontinental title holder. That was awesome. And then we saw The Rock going up against uh, the British Bulldog, Davy Boy Smith. This is, um, Davy Boy Smith really wanted to get himself involved uh, for the WWF title at that time. Uh, it was actually uh, a pretty good match, but um, guess what? Didn't work out for Davy Boy Smith. You know, when it was all said and done, The Rock ended up winning this match. So uh, I, I thought that was pretty, pretty cool. Then we had, we saw a promo with Terry Runnels. Um, the Terry Invitational Tournament, which was had to be involved with Edge and Christian and the Hardy Boys, Matt and Jeff Hardy, who were called the Brood at that point. And if you won this match, um, you got $100,000 and you were managed by Terry Runnels. 
which this match was pretty cool, man. It was fun to watch. I enjoyed watching it. And um, when it was all said and done, um, God, who do you think ended up winning this match, guys? Honest to God, who do you think ended up winning this match? None other than the Hardy Boys. Excellent, excellent matchup here on this No Mercy pay-per-view. Then we saw a rock promotion, uh, a rock promo, I should say, coming out. The Rock uh, was going to deliver a promo, and Triple H came out with the sledgehammer. Uh, I should say Hunter Hearst Helmsley came out with the sledgehammer, ended up taking out The Rock, and, um, you know, that's just pretty much how it was. Then we saw Val Venus going up against Mankind, uh, one half of the Rock and Sock connection. Uh, this was a match that I, um, I forgot about. And um, it was a match that I was really surprised at the outcome. Because in the long run, uh, Mankind came out with Mr. Sacco. Uh, uh, Val Venus came out with Mr. Rocco. Uh, another sock. And uh, he grabbed between the legs of uh, Mankind. Mankind had the Sacco going down the throat. But due to the testicular claw by Val Venus, he ended up winning that match. Pretty cool match indeed. Then we had a uh, four-way match. Uh, uh, actually, it was a four-corner elimination match with Farouk, Bradshaw, X-Pac, and Kane. Uh, God. Farouk and Bradshaw, obviously, you know, friends. X-Pac and Kane, you know, they were friends because they were, you know, tag teaming and whatnot. But um, this was a pretty good match. Uh, actually, uh, Bradshaw got eliminated first. And then we ended up seeing uh, Kane get eliminated. And then it was X-Pac and Farouk. And when it all was said and done, X-Pac ended up winning that match. Now, I really don't know what the ordeal was, you know, what, you know, really what was the whole stipulation, what was it going to lead to, I wasn't sure. But, um, you know, I'm just going back. This is a long time ago, this is 16 years ago, so I don't remember what happened at the next pay-per-view. Then we had Stone Cold Steve Austin going up against Triple H, who was the WWF champion in an old holes bar match. Uh, this guys was phenomenal. If you guys have not seen this main event from no mercy, 1999, you guys got to watch it because this was a match that delivered like no other match did. Um, I, you know, I, I'll be honest with you, you know, there, there is no, kind of match in the present day in the WWE that compares to something like this. This was a match that was like totally, totally awesome. Um, between Austin and, and Triple H, they gave it their all. Uh, there were opportunities for both, both men in this uh, match. And then all of a sudden we heard the Rock's music hit. The Rock came out with a sledgehammer. He was going to nail Triple H. Well, Triple H got out of the way. The Rock ended up hitting Stone Cold Steve Austin. Triple H ended up taking Austin out and getting the win and remaining the WWF uh, champion. It was just, that's just the way it was. But if you haven't seen No Mercy from 1999, check it out it was great guys and we'll see you all next time this is the Iceman here on the Iceman's Return YouTube channel peace out everybody um I will say this I'm going to try to do in the hot seat with David Rivera on Tuesday night and if I'm able to it's going to be a good show so check it out everybody